Hello again. Thank you for joining me for some more words of encouragement. Sometimes when we have time and space to think, we remember occasions when perhaps we've done or said the wrong thing. Now, if that's you, why not take the time to put things right? If you've upset someone, phone them up and say sorry. And if you'd like to, you can also say sorry to God. Because God promises that when we are truly sorry, he will forgive us. But whether it's a family member, a friend or God, you could experience the joy of forgiveness today. And that's what today's reading from Psalm 32 is all about. That joy that we feel when we know that God has forgiven us. And then after reading the psalm, I'll say a prayer and then finish with a final blessing. So here's Psalm 32, and I'm reading from the contemporary English version. Our God, you bless everyone whose sins you forgive and wipe away. You bless them by saying, you told me your sins without trying to hide them, and now I forgive you. Before I confessed my sins, my bones felt limp and I groaned all day long. Night and day your hand weighed heavily on me, and my strength was gone, as in the summer heat. So I confessed my sins, and told them all to you. I said, I'll tell the Lord each one of my sins. Then you forgave me, and took away my guilt. We worship you, Lord, and we should always pray whenever we find out that we have sinned. Then we won't be swept away by a raging flood. You are my hiding place. You protect me from trouble, and you put songs in my heart because you have saved me. You said to me, I will point out the road that you should follow. I will be your teacher and watch over you. Don't be stupid like horses and mules that must be led with ropes to make them obey. All kinds of troubles will strike the wicked, but your kindness shields those who trust in you, Lord. And so your good people should celebrate and shout. Let's pray. Heavenly Father, our ever-present help in trouble, our fortress and our God. Calm the anxious fears of all who turn to you. Give strength and healing to those who are sick and courage and skill to those who care for them. Grant wisdom and clarity to those in authority and humble us all to call upon you that we may be saved, not only in this life, but also for that which is to come. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. And a blessing. The Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord make his face shine on you and be gracious to you. The Lord turn his face towards you and give you peace. Amen.